Serial block face scanning electron microscopy provides an unprecedented view of three-dimensional tissue ultrastructures and can answer a host of questions previously impossible or exceedingly difficult to pursue. This technique allows the rapid and reproducible production of three-dimensional data sets with minimal tissue charging and artifacts. And importantly, it allows the automated capture of thousands of images daily. Standard transmission electron microscopy provides excellent cellular ultrastructure. However, these images lack three-dimensional context and can be difficult to interpret. Serial block face scanning electron microscopy provides that three-dimensional context, allowing the interpretation of complex processes. While this protocol is reliable and reproducible, certain steps require precision and are critically important for the success of this methodology. This video will demonstrate these critical steps in detail. After fixing samples in 0.1 molar sodium cacodylate buffer containing 2.5% glutaraldehyde and 2 millimolar calcium chloride, samples should be cut into blocks no larger than 2 millimeters cubed and washed with 0.1 molar sodium cacodylate buffer containing 2 millimolar calcium chloride. The tissue is then sequentially stained with osmium ferrocyanide, thiocarbohydrazide, and osmium tetroxide. After osmium tetroxide incubation, treat the tissue with 1% aqueous urinal acetate at 4 degrees Celsius overnight. The next morning, dissolve 0.066 grams of lead nitrate in 10 milliliters of 0.03 molar aspartic acid solution and use one normal potassium hydroxide to adjust the pH of the Walton's lead acid.